Welcome everyone to Owlboy, a 2D platformer with very light emphasis on very light elements of metroidvania genres. It's overall more of a regular 2D platformer that's more like an adventure oriented game, uh, but either way this is a game that I've been wanting to bring to the channel for a little while and I finally am getting a chance to do it. So we're going to go ahead and do options here really quick to see a couple things. Uh, show aim arc. Only when throwing, always, never. I'll do only when throwing, I think that's fine for now. Show HUD, yes, and then always show control prompts, yes. And all the volume is perfectly fine, we're just gonna go back and languages. Um, we're just gonna stay with, yep, that's perfectly fine. And we will go into continue to begin this let's play. So I'm gonna start a new game here on this file. We're gonna do it. Yeah, it's a fun game. It definitely is a fun game. Uh, and you'll see why, revered. Exalted. Wise. This is what we owls aspire to be. Over the centuries, we have worked hard to build up the respect that people have for us. By the way, this game came out in 2016, in case you're wondering. And as times get harder, you too, as my student, shall carry the weight of owlhood upon your shoulders. I can see that you are already a fine young owl, Otis. In time, I will mold you into the spitting image of myself. No need to look so nervous. This is a great moment for you. Despite being born as a mute, under my tutelage, you will become one of the pillars of our community. Well, I see there's plenty we will have to work on. Do not worry, I will straighten you out. There's all some, you know, backstory of Owl Boy and, you know, Otis is the name. I'll be honest with you, Otis. You haven't been doing too well in your studies at all. So I've been thinking that perhaps your talents simply lie elsewhere. So today we'll be doing some flying. I bet you've been looking forward to this for a while. Good. Then listen closely. All you need to do is to jump off the ground. Then when you're in midair, spread your wings and flap them. The owl cloak I gave you should take care of the rest. Go, Otis. Show me what you can do. Jump. Alright, you're flying. Now try and move around a little bit. See that platform up there? Fly up there and land on that island. I'll teach you the real tricks. Alright, so we just gotta go up there. Go, 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 go. We're trying. Ooh, we can't. We're too weak. We're too tired. We can't do it. Hmm, well, Otis, that was some terrible flying. I have to say... I'm really disappointed. Most students pick this up instantly. Tomorrow we'll go back to normal studies. It pains me to see such inept flying. Quickly, Otis. They are short on water. People need our help. The drought isn't as patient with your sluggishness as I am. Why have you left the water jug on the ground? Pick it up immediately. Hurry. I'm pressing it. Hang on. You've been sloshing the jug around. Let me check if there's any water left. Put the jug down here. All right there. Are you blind? Put it down there. <laughs> okay. What I have to do is grab it and put it right here. No! I told you to put it down, not to smash it. How are we supposed to bring water to the villagers now? I will not forget this, and I will make sure that the others are aware of what your incompetence has cost us. Did you understand? I cannot describe how disappointed I am on you, Otis. Leave me. I will bring water to Valley myself. Whoa. Otis, you have failed me again and again and again. Today there are no lessons. All you need to do is to talk to the other villagers. Simple enough, right? Even for you. Have them tell you what they think of you, and your ineptitude. Don't come back until you know what you need to know. Uh, okay. So we have to go. 
And talk to the villagers. Sure. By the way, this is all prologue stuff, in case you're wondering. The truth about you? Are you sure you want to hear it? Oh wow. That must be a very negative comment. But yeah, you can actually skip the prologue if you just pause and then press skip prologue. Do you want to know the truth? You mute. Wouldn't be able to tell anyone any anyway. Oh wow, these people are so rude. They're so savage. Why so nervous, Otis? Of course, you have every reason to be. Hmm. Alright, seems like we're back in our house or something. Oh, didn't mean to mash down, he just said Otis. Otis! Finally awake, are you? We are going to be late. Good thing I came here to wake you, or you would have slept for another hour. Get out of bed immediately and meet me outside. Sure. Alright, well... Wow, that's funny. Okay, I guess we can grab this. We can also throw it. And drink, or now drink it. Alright, that's a potion. So is this actually the beginning of the game after this cutscene here and then we'll actually officially start. Veli. Otis, don't zone out. Get up here. Okay. I'll talk about the controls in just a little bit. About time, Otis. We will be keeping watch over Valley today. There have been pirates about lately. You know the drill. Report to me or the guards if you see anything suspicious. Any questions? No? Then get to it. Okay. So we're gonna go report, or I mean if we see anything. Alright, so here's the actual gameplay. You get to fly around by pressing jump and then you fly around like this. Uh, there's a bunch of coins and stuff. Uh, you want to make sure to grab as many as possible, especially early on. Uh, because this is actually how you're going to be getting some really nifty upgrades. If you go through rings, you always get, I believe, it's three coins per ring. Which is pretty nice, I must say. You can also spam B to dash uh, a lot. You know, like, it's B to dash, but you want to spam it. It's very... Oh, what the heck? What was that? We're seeing something there. Uh, and then we gotta go this way. There might be a pathway through here. Yes, there is. There's a chest here. We definitely want this. To get a bunch of money. Okay, oh, we can also go through here. The music is very nice, by the way. I am a fan of the music. Uh, we're gonna go all the way down to get some chests. We have to go up to proceed, but I'm gonna start by going down because we wanna get as much money as possible early on. Like all these things, see, so you can break them, always get some money, which is pretty nice. And then these things, you want to consume them because they will increase your HP. Um, your health bar is the yellow-orange thing, but it can now also go beyond that uh, to a certain limit with the purple. So you want to go ahead and try to have you know as much health as possible, of course, because you'll be able to take more hits for doing that. Here's another chest. These chests usually contain a lot more money. And yeah, money in this game is not like something infinite, that is like a regular currency. There's actually a limited amount of coins, and like once you get, for example, when, once I pass through these rings, those rings were always gone. Once I grab any block or whatever, or any chest, it can only be gotten once and that's it. So there's a limited number, it's a finite number, you know? Um, I think I've got most of the stuff now. I'm not going to be getting every single coin in the game, I will tell you right now. Um, but I do want to get at least 2,000 coins. Because getting 2,000 coins lets you get every upgrade in the game except the last one. The last one you have to get every coin in the game, but it is a pain in the behind, seriously. To get every coin in the game, it's ridiculous. And it's not even worth it, to be honest, the reward. Um, I think that's it. Okay, we're just gonna go now. That's fine. Oh, what? Oh, hey. Hey, man. You been watching today? You want to do something later? Otis and Getty, the unstoppable team. Maybe we should take that trip to Advent today. Let me know what you're done for the day. Uh, sure, sure. 
Okay, I guess I, um... Wait, which way do I need to go, actually? I think it'd be up here to the left. No, it's somewhere on the left. There's a bunch of people here, and you can talk to them if you want to, but it's not, um, mandatory. It's not required at all. I will check around, though, to see... It's like in the village. True that. Troublemaker. I'm not a troublemaker. Hmm. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't think there's actually anything else here in this part of the town right now. Okay, I'm just gonna go where I have to go, and that's to the left. This way. Look at this cute little onlooking site. Boo! Ha ha ha! Huh, got him good. Yeah. Bon Bonasi? Guess you can fly after all. Man, you're such a scaredy cat, Otis. I was sure to be tough and fearless. Are you sure you should be allowed to keep watch? Doesn't everyone think you're an idiot? I mean, are you even a real owl? Asking him questions is pointless here if he can't reply anyway. Oh yeah, he's a mute. Mute, silly Otis. Wow, these people are a freaking pain. You two lay off Otis and get back to patrolling or I'll tell Strix. Don't mind them, Otis. They're just being childish. Hey, why don't I join you? I can help you keep watch. Or show them. Just pick me up and let's go. Okay. Sure. So, you have three party members in this game. Um, and the first one is this guy right here. There we go. Getty. Otis is best friend and Bailey's defense mechanic. Getty carries a blaster, effective in most combat situations, but not against solid rock or steel. It's pretty simple. You just simply go up to him and then you can just start shooting like crazy everywhere. Also, can I actually go this way though? Is there something? The answer is no. But yeah, you can just start shooting. You can also aim. Um, if you hold it, you shoot like three fast and then you stop. As you can see. Um, but if you actually mash the button, you can attack at a very, um, very fast rate, let's just say. Okay, I think we have to go down now. I'm pretty sure. Um, uh, what's up, Solus? Going to patrol for pirates today? Or are you going to run away to see anything? Look at this guy, he can't even stay on his feet. God, these guys are jerks. You brats again. Are you okay, man? Oh, yes. Thank you. You want to trick the students? I haven't met you before. Ah, yes. Bonacci and Phil were my classmates. We we're g great pals. Your name's Solus? Listen, they were, ha they were having a go at, o at Otis here earlier. If they give you any trouble, just yell for us. Thanks, you guys. They're right, though. I'm a c coward. Don't say stuff like that about yourself, man. Listen, why don't we... Oh. What the hell? What's happening? Whoa. Just got knocked down again. Oh no, it's the troublemaker. Quick, so let's call for help. Me and Otis will chase him down. Oh, okay. Otis, pick me up and let's go. Alright, we gotta go, we gotta go. It's pretty simple. You just simply keep going down and you keep following him. Uh, it's nothing too crazy. Just spam your dash and the dash is fine. The dash can even go through platforms as you can see. Alright, we want to break this stuff. We're gonna go down. And here there's gonna be some stuff we can get. Some more like... Money, I'm assuming. Somewhere. So there's a bunch of rings. I mean, I'll take the rings, of course. Got some free money. There's the cave we want to go to, but before we do that, I want to make sure that I get this stuff here. Okay. And then there's another one here. Also, the music is very creepy in this segment. I don't know what... Also, what the hell is this for? Is that something for later? It's just a wait. Um... I believe that, nope, no, not yet. I was about to say that's it, but there's a few more coins here that we want to grab. All right, so we're already at 275, which is pretty good. Uh, let's go in here. This is the first dungeon of the game. Yes, it is. Oh, it is, look, it's a troublemaker. Oh, great. It's pretty simple, you just simply shoot through. You can dash when uh, you're holding a friend, by the way. 
Alright, these enemies are really simple. You just attack them. There's no need to be waiting in this game for enemies to die. Like, you know how in most games they're like, you wait for them because they have drops or something? Not in this game. This game just kill them and keep moving because they don't drop anything. They don't drop coins. Enemies do not drop coins in this game at all. Okay, we're gonna press that. There's a secret over here. I'll try to find some secrets, but again, I'm not gonna 100% the game in terms of coins because it's a little ridiculous. These guys are just ground enemies, they throw shit at you, but it's pretty simple. I mean, this first dungeon is a complete cakewalk. The game gets tougher later on, but it's never, like, completely unfair at any point. Like, is it, sure, there's a couple BS segments, um, but in general, the game is pretty straightforward in terms of, like, difficulty and stuff. Okay, here, I think what I have to do is, um, throw. Yeah, there we go. Let's stand on that thing. Lots of money! Okay, so yeah, so these things, this is how you actually get rid of this stuff. Uh, you can't shoot them. Okay, I don't think there's anything over here, but just kind of making sure. Oh, there is actually something here. Okay. Nice little secret there. I'll take some free coins. And then toss that. Yeah, pretty straightforward, right? Huh? Oh. Oh, great. Watch out. And that's it. Alright, game's over. We died. Otis. Otis, wake up. Please tell me you're okay, Otis. I can't say anything. Oh, man. I didn't know okay was just dangerous. Hang in there, buddy. I'm coming for you. I'll just go by myself. It's fine. Okay, here. We need to spin. To open that door. These things we can just attack. There's more rings here. Uh, okay. I do want to grab this stuff. You can stun these, but I don't think you can kill them. Uh, so we just have to go through them. Okay, then there's... Here, I need to wait and go. Shoot. Go, go, go. Let's take care of that crap. Stand on this. Very straightforward stuff, as you can see. Oh, shoot. And then these things are pretty simple. Just kind of like dash towards them, attack them and whatever. What the heck? That was weird. But by doing that, now this door unlocks. I don't know if there's any stuff here. Probably not. Okay, and here, a little puzzle. We just have to uh, put all that together and then we can just keep going through. You. Okay. Yay! Hoorah! Whoopee! I found you! I'm alive! And so are you! We're amazing! But calm down, there's no time to celebrate. We should probably get out of here before the- Oh, great. Yeah. Yeah, because I- Because you definitely weren't the one celebrating. Alright, let's go through here. Grab some more rings. These are like babies or something. Let's have something different there. Okay, I don't really- mm. I don't really have to kill these guys. Well, I mean, these probably, yes, because they'll be kind of in the way, but... Yeah, we can break that. Oh, more enemies here. What the heck? Oh, a chest appeared. I think it's because I killed all the enemies or something. Okay, this one, I think I have to leave them there. Some of the switches you actually have to leave them. Yeah, you do. So I'm going to drop them there. I'm also going to get my chest over here on the left side. Very nice. I'll take that. And let's just go through this. I'll leave my friend behind for now. <laughs> yes, for now. Oh, I got to grab it. Oh my god, that was a great throw there, dude. Great throw. Alright, that one was not so great. Alright, let's go. And we will drop that there. Perfect. We can go through so we can kill him, but eh, what's the point? Kind of just wasting time there, you know? Oh, this thing is blocked. 
Oh, whoops. <laughs> yeah, you can actually hit your uh, friend. I mean, it doesn't do damage to them, but it does just, like, knock them back. I will eat these things because it'll give me some extra health by going into the purple range. That is the only way that you heal in this game, by the way. In case you're wondering. Oh look, it's a... another switch. I think we can just take you. Yes, I want a different kind of switch. Perfect. Anything here? Nope. Say, what did you find in here? Whoa. This is the first dungeon boss. And it's actually pretty simple, to be honest. So all you have to do, I mean, you may think you actually have to, like, shoot this guy, but that's not what you do. What you have to do is, like, whoops. Uh, let's actually try to do this right. So you go, like, no, I, dude, oh, I pressed wrong, I'm such an idiot, dude. Like that. You basically just dash into him, and I think phase two is he flies. And then you gotta pick him up fast. It's really easy. Like, it's really, really easy. That's it. That's the boss. <laughs> oh my god. Like, could this be any more easy? Okay, I think we actually have to take this thing over. Yeah, right here. We actually have to destroy that stuff. Let's go. All done. Oh wow, what is that? It looks like an ancient owl relic, but why is it here? We ought to bring a fragment to the professor. Ha, huh, gotcha. Well, we're stuck. Oh, it is the freaky spider thing got us. When did you get out of these webs? Okay, it's uh you just keep moving back and forth until you destroy it. Excellent, Otis. Alright, now I just need to help you out from here. Hit you a couple times, and that's it. Yes, amazing! You save our lives, Otis. That's my best buddy for you. Okay, I'm just going to collect a tiny chip from that relic. Hmm, this seems like a bad idea. Really? Then stop doing it! Oh my god. Well, we got some kind of relic here. What is this? It's some kind of device with a button on it. Strange, if it's made by the owls and they should be hundreds of years old. But it looks completely intact. I wonder what might happen if we press the button. I think you should have it. We got it. We got the item. Okay, so this here is... I mean, it's basically a key item that's going to be very helpful for the entire game, essentially. It just has a strange device with a button. Go ahead, Otis, push the button. I'll just... Stay over here. Okay, push. It's a teleportation. You just get teleported? This is incredible technology. The owls made stuff like this? Do it again. Oh my god, this guy's crazy. Yeah, although, we should get out of here. Alright, so what's nice about this is that, yeah, if you ever press X, they go to you automatically, your partners. The other really nice thing, though, is if you're not holding a partner and then you just press the shoot button, like, okay, I'm going to set you down there, and you just hold a shoot button, they also warp automatically with the shoot button, which is also very nice. Alright, so we're going to go through. Oh, pfft. Okay, so here's what you can do. You then warp them back. And there we go. See? Very convenient, for sure. I'm gonna do that. Very nice. Oh man, I can get used to teleporting this business. This teleporting business, I mean. Now, let's return to... Under Tremor, but... They seem to be coming from the outside. Quickly, Otis. Let's check what's going on. Okay, sure. I gotta get back. Oh, 
Why is it dark all of a sudden? How long are we chasing that jerk? It should still be morning. What's going on? Hmm. So we got some like what are these? Sky pirates, like Final Fantasy XII, space pirates, like Metroid. Oh my god. Okay, we get it, there's a lot of them. We get it, game. Oh no, sky pi oh, they are sky pirates. That's funny. Uh okay. If we get to the lab we can warn. Yeah, we gotta get to the lab. Alright, so we just gotta go through. Um now, the game wants you to actually avoid getting hit by the red light, but here's the thing. You can actually just dash through and you're fast enough to just avoid it. Like, I don't really understand this. Like, why they made it so, like, like scary. Like, oh man, watch out, you know? But then you can just... Whoops, okay, well that one actually hit me. I guess I spoke too soon. But in general, you can easily avoid it. I'm not even kidding you. Okay, so it's going to go like this, and then we're going to go to the right somewhere here. And it's right over here, actually. Right there. Get inside right now. Sure. Alright, we got hit once. I mean, that's fine. Otis, you were supposed to keep watch. Where were you? Getty, you should have known better than to... I see, we have no time for this bickering. Getty, get this machine working so we can get a visual of the pirates. I'll try my best, Professor. Is he just kicking it? It actually worked. That is strange. There is some kind of tremor. I wonder if the village could be fighting back. It doesn't matter. We're, we already have what we came here for. Am I to understand that we have the relic in our possession? Yep. It was right where that little owl led us. No problems. Excellent. Then it is time to leave. Not yet. It's not. It's time for pillaging. Do not be ridiculous. We're done here. Captain Molstrom's order was to move on to attack Advent. Advent? We're finally going to attack the capital? That's right. It seems the, cap the captain is confident that our forces are strong enough. And if we get the relic hidden in Advent as well, we will be stronger still. Of course, the journey will be dangerous. We'll have to fly near the Owl Temple. Quit your whining, let's go. Alright, let us be off. Okay. Hmm. It works. Those are the pirate ships on the screen. It looks like the pirates are leaving. They are, no doubt about it. Why would they leave? Oh no, this is bad. Asio, call a town meeting at once. There is no time to lose. Alright. Oh, it is Getty, follow me. This timing. Have the pirates noticed it too? That the islands are... No, surely not. Alright, lots of weird stuff is going on here, and there's not a lot of explanation going on as of now. Everyone, quiet down. Is everyone alright? Everyone's okay. Strix's students went to track the pirates. I don't think the pirates were here for us. Then, why did the pirates even come here? Listen, all of you, we have no time for this. My readings show the pirates are heading toward the capital. They're going to attack Advent? Yes, we need to warn the city, and quickly. Pirate ships are slow, but they have a head start on us. In that case, there's no choice. Professor, we'll have to use the Owl Temple as a defense mechanism. Ah, yes. The Owl Temple has been blowing the islands in the area apart for decades. If we deactivate the wind generators, the islands will close in on the pirates and crush them. Or so I think. So perhaps the ancient owls can help us protect Advent. Otis, you will go to the Owl Temple. The professor and I need to go directly to Advent to warn them. And no one... Wait... And no one else here can fly. But does Otis know his way around the temple? That's right, I should join him, ACO. Alright. Be warned, Otis. If you disappoint me again, there will be serious consequences. Whoops, I think I actually accidentally mashed the dialogue right there. Okay. So we're about to leave? Sure. Get to the Owl Temple as quickly as you can. Don't disappoint me, Otis. Guards, open the gates. 
Sure. Gotta go. Finally, the gate is open. Let's get out of here. And that's actually exactly what we have to do. So we are going to just go right up there. So we're going to be making our way to the next section of the game. After this other cutscene, okay. What the heck? Okay. Alright, um, so first of all, in this new area we're in Tropos. I think there's actually a secret here somewhere. On the left, I believe? Here it is. Aha, we found it. I knew there was a secret. This one I actually didn't know. Um, but a lot of them are actually pretty difficult and well hidden. It's a little difficult to, you know, memorize all these secrets everywhere. Go on higher. And higher. Okay, Otis, we're in Tropos. Now, if I remember correctly, I think the Owl Temple should be around here. Let's investigate a bit. Hopefully we'll find the entrance. Uh, sure. Okay. So the first thing I should do is go ahead and look around to see if there's actually any coins I can grab. And there's definitely plenty. Definitely plenty. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> I think the enemy just threw me through the stuff over there. Okay. Over here, this is actually a place I shouldn't go to. I don't know why I went over here. I'm gonna get out of here. I only want to explore the main... So Tropos is like the main area of the game. It's like the middle of all the different worlds... Or worlds, or it's like areas in the game. If that makes sense. Um, so we're gonna be coming here a lot. To get from one area to the next, and you know, so on and so forth. Um, I'm gonna grab this here. Okay, and then we got some more rings over here. Um, I can't go this way. If you go through the water, it actually ends up knocking you down. So, can't do all that much. We're going to just uh, get out of here. We're going to be going there much, much later in the game for sure. Those things, by the way, are immune to being shot at. Okay, got more rings there. Higher up. I don't think we can go higher up. Nope, it's blocked off by thorns. Just wonderful. Okay. Let me check the left side. Ha, ah, there is something here. We're almost at 700. Oh my god. Wait, that. that yeah, it was already there. Okay. This is pretty good. This is good right here. And there's a oh another area here. We'll take that. We're at 698. Um, okay. Whoops. <laughs> I accidentally touched an enemy. I died. Okay, I guess it's nice that I show you the death thing. If you die, you start in the last place we save, but luckily we save literally right here. Um, we should still be at 698 coins. Wait, how do you how do you see your Okay, we didn't get... Oh, there we go. I was at 698. And then there we go. We got more there. And I think that's about all the rings. I can get right now. Okay, let's go here into this place. This is, um... What's it called? The Buccanary Shop or whatever? Welcome, first-timer. My name is Buccanary. This here is my legendary adventure emporium. And boy, do I have a challenge for you. I've hidden all my Buccanary coins. If you find any of my coins out there, bring them with you. The more you find, the more I'll let you select from my trinket collection. I've been collecting trinkets for a long time. Approach the counter when you're ready. I'm ready. Oh, and for every coupon ring you find, I'll give you three. Coupon rings are basically the rings. Like, the big rings. Okay. Now, let's check out how much booty you brought. You've collected 713. That's not too shabby. In fact, I'll let you have your very first trinket. So we get the first one for free. Hello? Well? Where's the trinket? Which... I forgot the trinket! Oh my god. 
Ta da! What is this? Please take it, sir. We're gonna drink this or something? What are you waiting for? Have a sip. It basically increases our max health. It's got a kick to it. Put some feathers on your chest. Now, back to the shack. <laughs> okay. Collect 500 for another surprise, and luckily, ooh, 750 would have been in that. Oh, we're so close, we're so close. Okay, so we talk to you again. 713, excellent. Now for your surprise. What's up? I remember the trinket. Well, that's good. Okay, so basically every other trinket is pretty much useless. Like, this one is useless. It's going to be a hat that we get. And it's whatever. I think it's like Getty's hat or something. There we go. Hey, that's my old hat. It's got my name on it. And nobody cares. Go on, little owl fellow. Wear it with pride. Yeah, but like, I think if you die once, like... I think if you die, you lose it or something. To look incredibly stupid. Okay. Oh, this guy's crazy. Back to your shack now. Okay. And the next one's going to be at 750 to increase your health again. Uh, so over here, that's his little shack area. Alright, so let's get out of here. Um, that's actually where we're going to end the video. Uh, I mean, I guess I can show you where you need to go. But, I mean, other than that, like, I don't really have to... Uh, actually go that way in this video. All you basically have to do is I believe it is up and to the left. I think it's this way? Let me make sure. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, there should be the new area over here. We're just gonna, if we get to save, we haven't gotten to save yet. There we go, it just had saving. So I guess we'll end it here. So before I end this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoy the video. I will see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.